Fast Ivy play for Devils 1 to start. It's going to be three players with the Glocks, and already Nico taking the head off one. It's Olof at the back of Ivy, tries to keep things alive, but no armor on him. Got to fall back, luckily enough. Phase, they have it under lock. Four on two here, winning the early duels, and Devils 1 just taking straight up aim fights with Glocks are not going to be favoring them. Now everyone falling within a matter of seconds and this leaves Raul and Anna Deutsche left standing. Now these two ooh, have been uh, two of the top performers for Devils 1 as of late, but it's just... Uh, and he's just honing his sights in, his Guardian on this IV wrap. Flashes out from main. Do I pull his attention away for the time being? open up but it's going to be Maz and Rowland to find two very very quickly throwing this into a bit of chaos now for FaZe it's Rain barreling out from the pop dog to pluck one more from the ranks of Devils and now this bomb looking to go down on the back of Maz inside of the bomb site here it's a Dren holding close by connector that oh he gets spotted his uh, elbows have betrayed him oh the timing oh trying to fake the plant does draw the peaks. The issue is when I mean, he's not really in a, in a spot to help out and he's just going to back away through. The man that can certainly have something to say about it is going to be Rain on this flank, but you're relying heavily on Guardian and Adren to hold down this B-bomb site. Guardian will be able to secure the first Ooh. man. Taz up in the rafters trying to do what he can, but he's not quite able to get past Adren. And for many... And 20 seconds left, Ooh, Devils dear. 1 going to try and go for the A play. The issue is you're very much relying on finding these openers now, and the time could be the thing that betrays Devils 1. They do manage to deal with Nico at the very least. That bomb looking to go down, Olaf trying to deny, and he might ah. get there just in the nick of time. Indeed he will. It all falls. It allows for a full B rotate. Nico should be coming in on the flank, and the push is coming in. Rain hiding the site, but he's used that spot before. They'll find him. Guardian behind the smoke can't stop this bomb from going down, but he might be able to get some kills as these T's get a bit over aggressive. Taz caught moving off the site. Olaf's flank is going to finally come into play. Deitch is close below as well. And Guardian, he might just miss the timing. They're also getting wrapped from Maniz. This is getting awkwardly close for FaZe. And they've walked past each other. Guardian, he has to deal with the man on the site instead. But, oh, around the corner, Mouse slips. And this has left Guardian with not a lot, lot of options. Not a lot of time. And with the shots being missed as well, it's Olaf alone. The fate of this round, it should be sealed. They have a kit, though. They're definitely going to look into it. They're definitely going to give it a go, see if one of these T's gets aggressive. And if Maus is caught here, there's an opportunity for FaZe. Guardian again missing the timing, and he'll get caught by Taz in the middle of the site. They don't know Maus has wrapped them. And as soon as he checks this, that's the round. It's all said and done. They execute. They run down Olaf. They've got to smoke the close T-Con. So Nico got to move. Molly at his feet drops the bomb with 25 on the clock. This could get dangerous. Nico with another, finally getting shot in the back line. But here's where Rain emerges, the danger from the pop dog. And 18 seconds on the clock to do it. One tap to Maniz, takes down the AWP, and Rallon is still smoked off. They know where he is, and he has just got no time, Harry. This round is done. Flashes in. Well timed with Rain's own. Is that going to get caught by it? A couple of kills coming through. Edren finding the first blood and dropping that bomb. And Rain's going to move into the site, not allow them to get this bomb towards the front spot. Two more for Rain as he sits on three in the round. And Maniz, Harry, if there was ever a time for a vintage performance, this would be it. They're getting wrapped from Olaf, shot in the back as well. He's not given the room to move. 33 HP as he orp tags him through the wall. And surely this is uh, too much to ask for. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, he tries to fake the jump up. It divides Olaf's attention oh. and back to back. <laughs> Manis through the smoke has plucked Olaf from this round. A 1v3 now turn 1v2. The bomb plant will come in here for Manis. And he's got some time to work with. Rain's pressuring him. He's gone for the main plot. Now he does get spotted there by Guardian. Goes back to fight. Damage done. Manis getting the majority of this information. It's looking like this is going to culminate in the A play. They go barreling out past Rain, but this time he's only good for one. All the pressure going to fall onto the back of Nico now. And he's the man who's very cool and collected in these high pressure situations. They finally flush him out. And this leaves Guardian in the 1v2. On the bomb train, he's dealt with the first oh. man, tries to flick onto Maus, missed shot the first time around. Knows that he's still here, takes one to the chest. Flash over the top, but Guardian's hunting, and he's going to find a stack. Manise down through Ivy, holds some promise, but... Oh, well, it's all falling apart once again. Nice flash. 
Deitcher and Rollin, what can they even do now? It is just Deitcher remaining. He has dealt with Guardian. He has a lot more to game plan with three in pop already and no info from these CTs. Great smokes from FaZe. And I like that they spam this pre angle uh, this they, they spam this angle here that rains on because it's so common for a CT to peek over that smoke there. Bomb part goes down, rain, unbelievable shot, and he's gonna double it. Can he get any more? Of course he can, it's rain! Pistol King here on the A site. <laughs> So it is the three on three retake. Rollins already delivered in spades in this round with two. We need to see a little bit more from him, perhaps, but Manise on the opener might have just done enough. Nico trades him, though, dancing around inside of the bomb site, and Guardians found another. It is just Rollin left standing. A 1v2 required, and the bomb timer now ticking away, working against him. He's got to pick up the pace. He's oh. back to back with the man in the bomb site. They have just conceded this position. He doesn't have to go further, but he will, and he'll regret that decision immediately. They're just at least going to clear out Ivy. But the problem they're going to have, Nico being so, oh dear. so aggressive inside of A, he's already snuck all the way through Pop Dog, and no one from Devils 1 has any idea that a player could be this deep. Ooh. Oh, uh. there we go, Nico. Ooh. Sneaky. Oh, no. Oh, wee. there we go. Gets the first man <laughs> and the second to boot. Both players down in Ivy are gone, courtesy of Nico. The very lengthy wrap from him pulls through, and it's Taz, an auto shotgun. And this would be a clutch for the record books if he gets it done, but. It's not looking likely. Rain's position alone should be enough to solidify it, and indeed it will. Will get forced back, and he's desperately trying to get out of danger. Spots the players up on short, and now looking to try and reposition to help his team out inside of the bomb site. Nico will get bested, but Adren from down in the pit really is throwing a spanner in the works. There's Guardian to tap down another. Real issue for me today yeah. getting to the studio. In fact, you only showed up about eight minutes ago. I, I it feels like I did. Uh, Rain. He's a man who is always on time, and the timing couldn't be better for him. He's dropped the bomb. He's gotten rid of the two armored players down here in lower tunnels. He looks for a little bit more. And Manise has actually managed to double with the scout now. The bomb's been retrieved, and a 2v3. It's the wrap over in top mid from a Dren that looks to seal. To help him out, but also a rotator within the doors. There's three players here. It might not even be needed. Olaf and Guardian, a kill apiece. There's Rain striking from the sidelines, and the bomb dropped in the middle of the site is spelling disaster for Devils 1. Adren is once again in top mid, right? He's suddenly but surely pushing down into the tunnels. He's always behind you. And so finally, they deal with the wrap round. 55 seconds left. Still a chance here for Devils 1. As they start to make their way down into lower tunnels, the issue they're going to have is that bomb is being sat on right now by two players inside of that B bomb site. Nico even holding mid, and he might be fully blind. He might not be able to see anything. But he sniffs out the kill onto Manise. Taz, 1v3 required here. Yeah, no, that's not the, what, that's not the gun you want there, Harry. Oh, forces the shot off the orb. Gives him some room to work with, but now the crossfire is coming in from the B doors as well. And of course, there's a flank as on top of that. Guardian sitting inside of the T-spawn. Taz has nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. He's just got to fight and fight he shall to the, end of the A bomb site. Olaf flashes himself through to take a more aggressive stance. And actually that allows Taz to pick him up, exiting back through the smoke. Rain now arriving on this wrap round, trying to contain Ooh. this play, but one by one they're falling. And this is Nico now asked to step up and clutch around that never should have been this close. And he will deal with Taz. He's just able to get that bomb down in the nick of time. Ooh, Nico. Hello. Nico's dancing around trying to get rid of Mouse. He doesn't have head armor, so the USP could one shot him here. And Nico repositioning back and away, trying to deal with the player in CT. He will hear the scope. So oh, no. Mouse knows. Nico ducking down, time working against him. Does still have the kit. And Mouse can't quite deal with the lone player inside of the bomb site, but finally he will. <laughs> Smoke as his teammates split the catwalk. Adren's got to deal with his close right position. Great flick. He finds it. Rain now. It's up to him. They're pushing through the smoke and it's very, very telegraphed. But Rain's getting caught within it. He's going to run right by Manise. Does manage to find the kill. Dropping the AWP. Nico finds two within the site. And now surely Taz will get the trade. But how much more? Them to pack up. 
turn their sights elsewhere. They send out Manise into middle, and he will start oh, to clear dear. these angles Adren. slowly, but surely Adren arriving on this wrap round. Good for the double, and now Rain posted up in mid. Anywhere that Devils try and turn, they walk. Guardian, all that stands between Devils Ooh. 1 and getting this bomb down. That's almost the lineup, but not quite. Mouse straight through that smoke, gets the trade. Now players already rotating round. It is going to be Olaf first man on the scene, but Ouch. oh, that nade lands in his visor. He's still going to be able to uh, to shut down the point man for Devils 1. And this now facilitates his retake in a big way for phase. One singular flashbang on Nico. To try and kickstart this retake. Rahlin previously tagged down low with just 12 points of health, holding mid, and he does spot Olaf now turning his attention back towards the tunnels. And this is where that flashbang nice. comes through, buys them a crucial moment and a Dren with. Yeah, this is somewhat forced their hand to try and find some success elsewhere. It looks like it's going to culminate down here in middle, but that's the bomb dropped. Olaf puts down Rahlin, and he's not done with two. Oh, Olaf's nice. gonna find all three. Of course, if you get shot as well, you're you're gonna slow down. You'll get stuck in that molly for longer. It's like getting naded. Four and three here. Devils one in a great position up on Catwalk. Adren trying to fight them back, but he can't win his duel. And Rallon's found himself another entry. This is going swimmingly. Bomb can go down now, and Guardian plenty of money to go for this and still be able to buy up in the next round. So he may as well peer his eyes into this, but they've heard him. Drop into CT and even a flank up on Catwalk misses the shot. Guardian given a second opportunity. I can think of one. A deadly Devils one. Down through mid. They drop the man up on shorts, Nico, in with the trade onto Rahlan. And now four on four. Looking like this could be a fast day, but they've applied the brakes. They've slowed right down. And now they're going to flash through. Smoke is down to facilitate the cross. Now P250 is up on Nico here, looking at him to try and deal with these players at longer ranges. Oh, oh God, Niger dancing around, but Adren puts him down. Taz now emerging, and it's a 2v2. Everyone's inside of the safe bomb site. It's up close, it's personal. And Guardian holding the ramp rotation, but Maus taps him down, and it's Adren. Asked 1v2 clutch here from inside of eight. To the clutches of Taz, they run. Oh. Oh, they're biting back. And Taz might just have to give up this bomb site. In fact, he goes down. So this is a three on two retake, of course. But Guardian and Nico pulling things back. And it's suddenly Manis asked to try and clutch. Now this AWP is, uh, sorry, this scout is going to hit like an AWP here. Both players dealt for free. They're going to hear the footsteps. So Manis can call it. Taz has dealt with the one man down at long. And Manis in with another. Nico going to tap down the point man. Guardian in with another. And suddenly they're trying to go oh, going the way of phase. Nico in with his second, and uh, it was looking good for Devils 1. They deal with the Dread on the wrap round. Manise is able to find one on his oh. rotation up. But this leaves Maus in the hot seat, and they were pushed up over it short, a bit a bit hung out to dry here. It's Manise holding close to the smoke, going to try and assemble a boost quickly up and over the top, and that does yield a kill for Rahlan. He's going to lose the, uh, the bottom of his boost. Manise gets taken out from underneath him, and one by one, the kills are still coming in for Devils 1. The bomb's been dropped, so... Still an opportunity to try and find something here. Oh, that molly though, Nico. Oh, I was going to say cuts off Ditcher, but he pushes through it and to his own demise. Mal's now left alone in this one the other day, rather. So, yeah, you've got to be aware. There's, there's more games to play. There's more teams to fight. But this one, they might have to just say goodnight because double kill for Olaf into the B site and FaZe are running over this scoreboard like anything, Harry, like something that runs, like an Olympian. And Devils won. Yeah, they got no legs. No, it's uh, do or Deitcher now. And uh, he's barreled in through short. He's got one. He's got an orb. But that is going to be it. Would have been sick if he landed.